No, they went straight into it straight away. With the okay. gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. And next to me is... Hello, Lady Meow. We're live now. Hi, everyone. Wait, even I was again taken aback. In today's live stream, all I'll right. be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all I can't the latest wait. updates. Why is this in German again? I appreciate your support. Why so serious, Mr. Z? You're not nervous because this story is about Section 6 this time, are you? Not at all. Section 6 is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians. That'll be good, man. Us. Don't be like some dog that side story. Just be something interesting. But for the average person, Section 6 is definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Mm hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to Section 6, we have to first introduce HAND, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. Let's not put it that way. Although they're a high level organization involved in city administration, hand and so we're finally getting this faction related to hollow disasters. So Kaku is gonna have a team, agency, hand and is his own arm, forces, like in game, which is why in lore, hollow special Miyabi, okay, and we see you, okay, okay, soon, right. next batch, quite the reputation since this establishment and gained Maybe. a lot of respect among the public. Though it's gonna be me and be in this guy. Next patch watch. 1.4. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6 is undeniably skilled and will definitely rescue you. But it's also a curse since the, the fans are all pretty eccentric. Uh, this looks like Twitter and Hoyo Lab. Ain't gonna lie. Well, you are wrong about that, Lydia. Got that picture of Yanagi, though. Worry, everyone. Jesus. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. You I just like the pencil skirt right? right? That shit is different. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Everyone knows now that HSO Section 6 is part of Pan's Armed Forces. And that the team members are all highly capable fighters. The founder and team leader, Miss Hoshimi Miyabi, is particularly exceptional. But it's Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section okay. 6's field agents into an so we're start with all of them. Sounds like so that's interesting. Is the brains behind the team. I like that. <laughs> it's a good one. You could put it that way, but if you want to know more, let's play the VCR. It's in no time. Okay. I am in. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section Six. Heroes okay. Eridu. I'm and I love that shot no on the street. Black and white. Salvation. That logo. It's. Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must I'm looking. be you. Alright, alright. like that oh and then the big at the end okay the big lightning strike I lighter of the sons of Caledon now this guy acting to issue a challenge to all of you no he's so not the music oh my god I love this music other than my. Give me enough moves, man. I want both of them now. Okay. 
Nee. Wow, that was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? I wonder what happened. Well, you can ask her yourself. Look like a clone or something hey, like the go hat, right? Why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an Intel broker too, you know. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Wanna listen? <laughs> what? Hello, I'm Sukashir Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is Hello. this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. How are you having a conversation with Also, maybe he is the Chief. I thought she was just like some strong, like, side character. I heard Section 6. Even though she's getting lost story, I don't know. established by Miss Miyabi. And that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it, hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand, to deal with hollow disasters. Residents of New Eridu Is she voice acting in Hoyo before? Website, she sounds familiar. Information on all divisions of hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Section 6 operates smoothly under our Chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling minor tasks when needed. Our team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents, and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. Is it just right. my imagination, or did the room just get colder? <laughs> Must be your imagination. <laughs> but I can tell this family would fall apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big okay. must have happened so here. Okay, so I guess that's how we link up related to the with the HIA. Equipment? Oh, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the and truth ourselves. we're going ourselves. in VR and doing that whole thing. Oh the new my god. Anyway, Sharing Miss Yanagi. Is she looking like reverse 1999? Damn. I failed as an intel broker. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? Okay, are so We're big. counting on you yeah. to fill us in about that. That's crazy. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torrid Inferno has concluded. The story of a certain champion remains untold. After the Tour de Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with Lighter now. And as the champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. So yeah, we're going to do Lighter. This is not going to be part of the special episode. It's probably going to be like a character mission, that's it, right? In my book. But the question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? He's definitely well, cool, but he's goofy as well, like, quite the lone like all of them. He actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon, but there must True. be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Leiter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Leiter. Hello. Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you what was that? really just gonna <laughs> ask like that? What was the hello so early? There's a hidden reason he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Huh? That's it? I see. As expected of Mr. Leiter. That is so awkward. Thanks. <laughs> Speaking of okay, which, I get it. It's supposed to be like, it's funny. Over and a new overlord has been crowned. Okay. But I heard there's something called settlement days in the outer ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. But in recent times, settlement days is more like a festival, and 
It's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the Overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Leiter? Certainly seems so. See you around. Ah, and there he goes. Oh, so that's what's going to be just that didn't take him long. fighting everyone. And he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the sons of Caledon are taking settlement days very seriously. But like Leiter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Leiter's agent story, you'll receive an invitation from the sons of Caledon to participate in this outer ring celebration. As the settlement but the days girls begin, will be fiending. The of Let me tell you. Meanwhile, this? Leiter readily accepts Damn. challenges and steps into the arena. However, as he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. Speaking of the Outer Ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? Oh, we true. shouldn't forget, he still has crucial intel. Not to worry, it won't take long before your proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of That's events, right, sounds like a little bit involved a little bit. Because he Pearlman is still there. This is just the start of but Bell and not gone story just yet. with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. So, let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Huh? We're moving on already. All right, let's dive into the intel on Miss Tsukishiro Yanagi. As you can see, <laughs> I'm the one giving the info. Pretty just like Tsukishiro doing whatever Yanagi, they want. A member of Section 6 and an S rank anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. Seriously? That's quite is crazy, you know? I'm the one who got this info. So, why is this like so. Like, there's no bit right. She wields a Naginata that matches her so weird. frame. In combat, she uses a combination of styles to take down enemies. Okay. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance, and she'll also get different buffs. These buffs hmm. remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Okay, so the buff looks like she can do electric shock damage. Good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Also, after Yanagi Okay, so just press stance, E to do shock every damage, time okay? She deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly build up increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, All right. Yanagi enters Shinra Bansho state and switches her stance. Shinra Bansho. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack Bankai. dealing electric damage. If the target is under an anomaly, Can Yanagi I don't will just like a that. special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly while giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. Alright. What was the ulti though? Oh, we're fighting in Lumina Square? I guess like in VR, Yanagi right? Well, that's crazy. Her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she oh, lets seems like, wow. a of deadly slashes. Okay, I get it. So just damage. I'm pretty sure she does damage even without anomaly though. Agreed, but in her so she's gonna be life, crit anomaly? A gentle person. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh, mm. got more details to share? Mm -mm. God, I can't this character though. Just yet. I am looking. Now let's shift our focus Apparently to this life. guy. Oh, Here comes so Lyre, cool, man. an S rank fire and oh. stun agent. If you saw our last but like, I, I need to skip. There's no, just no more pulls in the game. This cool dude. Uh -uh. Indeed. He's a problem. Okay, I need to get lucky on Yana again, and then no maybe. But. With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, Letter's not one to hot the spotlight. And of course, there's like a fire stun in it. Like, I don't really care about that that much. Lighter faces his enemies head well, on. Well, the Max Soldier 11 combat. pretty good, but. And when his morale is high enough, the 
To be a soldier level, she's like my least used DPS because I have like 10 of them already because I pulled every character in the game. Reduce the target's Damn. fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. Plus, like, I really like also, anomaly characters. I don't really care about, like, crit and break. Or his the crit break combo friend. anymore. He allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage. And that's why I like Ellen, because she doesn't rely on that. She just does damage. And, like, like Zhu Yuan, you need to break, right? What is this team? During combat, Slider recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Once Slider is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him to take zero damage, setting up his team for some serious DPS. And when it's time for his ultimate, Slider slams the ground with a powerful punch, dealing massive damage and daze to nearby enemies. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. Uh, right. <laughs> not bad, yeah. Uh, like, okay, he buffs, as well as like breaking. But like, is he that much different? Coleda? Doesn't look like it. Any chance they'll help get our mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. Hmm, I don't think so. Let's stay on track. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the Bangbu channel to get the A rank Bangbu Daddy Boo. It's an A class, who cares? I have every S rank in the game, I don't need these A classes. Just so you know, the only the night one looks cool though. Bangbu as of now will be from that event. Betty Boo is an A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage <laughs> with his active skill. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Betty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out nah, that's dead. big blast. That's Very dead. Nice. I don't have the rocket. Now our other A rank Bang Boo, Night Boo, can summon stars onto the battlefield. Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. Now that's interesting. Activating a chain attack, Night Boo summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these new agents and Bang Boo raring to go, let's talk about signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, proxies will have access to the <gasps> of course me, of course you like first. Oh my and god. The w engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Sukishiro Yanagi and S rank W engine Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata will be offering. I just can't, unless I can move in one temple. I just can't pull w this game. Engine Blazing Laurel. As for the 1.3 check in events, each proxy can get 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 boupons in total. So don't forget to log in. Also, many of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank 4 with characters. Here are Yanagi and Lighter's dynamic backgrounds. I want to see that though. Mm. That's kind of... Ooh, those are nice! Better get those trust ranks up! And don't forget the new Bang Boo! These new friends are itching to team up with you all. Maybe we can squeeze in oh, a lighter is him though, that's crazy. Go join our proxies? Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code go. What is it? Virtual revenge. It looks pretty good so far. I feel like I just want to see the events because for now it just looks like a story. But it's a lighter like character story. So uh, there, there's there's some content. It's not like there's nothing happening. 
but does feel like a filler definitely but what can you do and then 1.4 we're gonna like actually go do stuff with permanent like hand and all that i don't know with the version 1.3 update we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too let's take a look First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter stories are coming. Right. In version 1.3, oh, our new stories will be available through the themed event TV schedule. This event has unique tokens, which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises, and then exchange them for rewards. In Sugishiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, Proxies can check out Sugishiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, the champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Each stage will give Lighter a different okay. buff. Of course, we can't let That's Lighter cool. fight alone. At the start of each stage, I like the fixed camera. designate an agent as a supporting character. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode, the Simulated Battle Trials. By fighting the battle simulated after universe. exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Apart from polychrome rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. Well, you have tower system, the shinier like in Mickey. Gets. But please keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. And your agents won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Like your HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of it's HP they dodge. had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Yep, and enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials too. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. You gotta stay flexible with your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. In I mean, addition, I guess I mean, the boss is just not like that hard. Mode in Hollow okay. Zero, called the Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat power. Like in addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. Looks like even the what? store owners that must be like a present chance is not with sheer power. I mean, they're oh, but you can't take anything else, okay? Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. <laughs> the Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia following proxies and providing bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the Blessing Group, chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their skills okay. to suit their It looks style. like a pretty basic, like, roguelite. Well, Let's is it roguelite? Kind of. You don't get items, but you can get bad moves and stuff. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Oh, and I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event, too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Sukishiro Yanagi. 
Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. By the way, have you heard the buzz Some rewards, about Reddit belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up More to cooking. open a pop-up store yes. in Lumina Square soon. Wow, Is it the same game? perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. Yeah, we're becoming restaurant tours again. And you might oh. score a spot as a VVV I'm not running a food truck with. <laughs> and who knows, there might be more rewards waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bang Boo each day to accept tasks. Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Yeah. Those Bang Boo can be a handful. If you want to check the results of their training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bang Boo always appreciate a helping hand from proxies. So, besides the event Burn rewards, chips. you can also get some for lighter, right? decorations yeah. in return. Well, I could use that someone else. There's also so a good. Bang Boo with a little cart handing out tasks, too. Head over Another. to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard... Sun Z Studio is opening up in Lumina Square. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, grab it and show off your latest finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video store. Treat yourself <laughs> to something nice. In addition, we will be getting double drops in addition. for combat simulation and routine cleanup. So proxies, get your farming hats on. In version 1.3, we optimize the layout of the France system, expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Proxies okay. will be able to get various titles from events and from agent trust. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on this. Oh, why are they basing lovely the Yanagi E3, bro? If you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, E6. that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill. Now we're talking. Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks, which refresh weekly. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Oh, and it gives more rewards Moreover, as well. The challenge I think. tab has been renamed like to it. Combat for better clarity. Under the Combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the Investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added. It's basically over the week you have to do everything. Okay. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages, getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, I like and how not the tactics tab. clear rewards. <laughs> Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup, where proxies can now check agents related the agent. materials and disk drives from each stage. When it comes to building I mean, your game, I guess. we've made a number of changes regarding materials, drive disks, W-engines, and more. 
For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. Yes. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive I'll ones. I'll just do it automatically, so I don't have to do that shit every time. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, okay. the system now checks for materials across levels. Well, that's also pretty you good. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead get everything you need on a single. Wait, is automatic? Window, yes. Providing oh you have enough God. necessary materials, of course. Finally. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across levels with a single action. I like it. But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go too. You bet. Now we're talking. In version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature to drive disk master copies as well. So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get more advanced drive disks. That really is handy. Oh, Some purples yeah. are gone and forever. And that's not the end of it. We've Finally. added a new sort by time to the drive disk menu. Then I can also sort my drive disks by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disk dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive disks when dismantling. Making it a breeze to filter discs that you don't need. Okay, and it's like the same thing Plus, as Honkasaro. Yeah, it is. Literally the same thing. Select. Nice. Just a tap, and you can select all drive discs of a specific grade, or all those marked as discarded. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive discs and W engines. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and Bangboo. You can pin your agents and Bangboo for the agent menu, remodeling shop, Bangboo deployment interface, and more. Now you can find your faves with ease. Yes, I just use the presets. And let's not I'll just make a team on the news there. Drive disk selection screen over at the music store. And also, now I use every character in the game, kind of. Moreover, we've so. added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait! Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow! What else? Lady Meow! Don't worry, proxies. Yes, I'm not We're professional too happy about the like the brokers. Changes because, like, off, I don't have any issues navigating on. anything. Anyway. Well, that's a wrap for I've been playing this game since day one. Thanks for yeah. tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. See you later. Oh. <laughs>